What's up, family? It's your boy, Built on the Budget, coming back to you with another video. Hey, y'all, uh, I warn you that you got to smash that notification bell because I'm dropping videos, man, and you don't want to be a day late or a dollar short getting to them. So uh, you got to keep that bell on, man. Uh, put it on all so that you're going to get it all because I'm dropping them like they are hot. And so today... Ain't no different. I just had a little short video that I wanted to make today just to show you uh, just a little something that's going on that uh, might be interesting to you. I really want to call this, she's more than just a pretty face. You know how you sometimes you, you find these real pretty women and they all sexy, nice looking, but that's all they is. They can't cook. They can't clean. They don't want to work. You know, all they is is a pretty face and so what i wanted to let you know is that she's more than just a pretty face there you have it ladies and gentlemen silver bullet at work we don't hide them we drive them uh look at that profile on her i just want to let y'all guys know especially for some of y'all that just joined my channel that uh the silver bullet man is more than a pretty face we don't just set them around we use them when we need to. Uh, I had to go pick up a couple of packages today, and it's nice outside. I mean, I didn't even clean it up. You can see all of the uh, the dirt and stuff all on her. But uh, she was still ready for the highway. You know, you can sing that song. You might be old, but you still ready, ready to work. What y'all think about it? So let's talk about what's on the back of this truck. That's what the video is all about. On last week, y'all guys seen me shoot a video when I was down in National Parts Depot down in Charlotte. Uh, I actually went down to pick these hoods up on last week. And that was uh, one of, or another reason why I didn't have my car show. Because I really wanted to install that hood on Baby Girl before I did the little car show. But it didn't happen. I uh, went to National Parts Depot. And uh, they ended up, something went wrong. Let's put it like that. Something went wrong. Uh, but I like to say. The sum total of a business is how they handle a problem when they get one. And everybody in business, anything you do, you're going to have a problem. And National Park Depot had a problem. But they made it right. And that's what I have to give them their props for, man. They did everything they could to satisfy me as a customer and that speaks volume for their establishment. And that's why come I can uh I can name drop them, I can shout them out, is because I am happy with what they done as far as straightening me out. I'm trying to get my hands out the camera. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm shooting on my phone, and this thing is a little tricky. But uh, National Park Depot, they made it right by me uh, before I left. And then they ended up shipping these hoods to me from Detroit, Michigan. And so anybody know anything about shipping oversized freight by truck that these two boxes are just about by a hood. But they ate that to satisfy me. So, uh, you know, we got them. Uh, it won't be long before I put it. On the truck, uh, what I really want to do is paint it before I put it on. And I'm going to say this to uh, you guys that's buying hoods or any aftermarket parts. Now, listen carefully to me because uh, you're going to learn something. The primer that's on these hoods is not made to weather the storm. It's not made to sit out there on your truck for six months. It's not made to uh, ride around with and profile. It's made so 
that while they're sitting in the warehouse in a box, or when you buy them and take them home, that they don't go to rusting. But when you expose that coating to the sun, to the rain, it's going to go to rusting. And once it go to rusting, you're going to have a problem. It's going to first turn light gray. So if you got any part that you done bought that's, that's a new part that got that black primer, and you look out there at it, and you starting to see uh, it turning light gray, you just about done, son. You almost through. It's going to go to rusting on you. So I know that uh, baby girl is sitting outside, so I want to try to put uh, this stuff Try to put some paint on it. It may not be the professional coat that I want it, but I do want to seal it with some paint. So, uh, you know, that's that's where I'm at with that. So, I just want to show you again. These hoods is for a 88, um, 81 to 87. That's the part number. Uh, here's the information. Let me get up here. That's the information right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But uh, that's the hood for a square body pickup truck. 81 to 87. So uh, we got it. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it on to the house. But I tell you, boy, that silver bullet look good. I like that stance. See that profile? A lot of people say, hey man, is that sitting on airbags? Nope. That's ride height. And I'm going to tell you something. It's got a good suspension on it because I know them hoods is not that heavy. But even when I take them hoods off, that profile is going to still be there. So uh, listen, uh, I love it. I'm going to give you another shot from the other side of it this way look at that that that's nice that ain't it man i like that man those right there that's what did that those so listen this is your boy built on the budget like share subscribe hit the notification bell bam smash it bam smash smash it that's the only way you're going to get the notification if you smash it. And uh, until then, until the next video, which is going to be real soon, peace.